Smells like marijuana. Yep, absolutely, I hope so. <laughs> And so how much would this fetch on the black market, this whole bag? So this bag's probably worth about $150,000 on the black market. Wow. This facility is pumping out a lot of pot, about five tonnes a year. This is exactly what we want to send to Australian patients. And it's All of these buds are going to the medicinal market, which was legalised here about six years ago. You're probably holding something like about maybe three grams or four grams and to a patient that might be somewhere between 45 and $60. And how long would that last? It depends on what they're using it for. So, you know, again, if someone's using this maybe for stress, anxiety, insomnia, back pain, mild back pain, they might use a gram a day. Um, so for them, that could be four days or five days. If someone has something more chronic, maybe something along the lines of, you know, terminal illness, they might certainly be having a much higher dose to help them through the issues. And they could make even more cannabis if another market was legalised. There's a portion of the market that is using this recreationally and adult use is inevitable. Recreational use is illegal across most of Australia, but its use is widespread and openly discussed, even by federal politicians. Are we recording? Yep. OK, let's go. You know, I'm a green senator. Of course, at some point or other in my life, I've consumed cannabis. I move that the following bill be introduced, a bill for an act to provide for the registration of cannabis strains. The senator just lodged a bill in parliament to legalise adult use. Who those of that opinion say I? He wants to replace drug dealers with small producers. I believe the ayes have it. Senator Shoebridge. If you're a small cooperative on the north coast of New South Wales, you can get a licence, start cultivating and sell it into a, a, a co-op, sell it into a dispensary. You wouldn't just be able to smoke and vape the plant, you could also eat it in things like brownies and gummies. We allow for a bit of creativity in the market, we regulate it properly. Public revenue from legal cannabis with a 15% uh, cannabis tax plus GST will bring in about $28 billion of public revenue. Jenny Williams is an economist who studies the illicit market, where weed is selling for $10 to $13 a gram. She says a legal model will need to get pricing right. In order to shrink the black market, you need the legitimate legal market to be competitive. It needs to be done at a federal level. And if for no other reason, the only government body that can raise excise taxes is the federal government. Professor Williams is also questioning the Greens' economic modelling, which she says assumes widespread use. It seems that the, the Greens' numbers are um, rather optimistic. And that is a claim that is giving extra fire to the bill's opponents. This is ideology masquerading as economic policy. The economic analysis is highly uncertain. They haven't even done the basic groundwork. The Shadow Attorney General says the health and social consequences of legalisation are just too high. And she says she won't be indulging even if cannabis smoking cafes are allowed to open. If I go into a coffee shop, quite frankly, I'm happy to have a normal cup of coffee. Labor won't say how it feels about this issue, only saying that this is a matter for the states and territories. Everyone thinks that you can just come in, start a facility and then just grow it because it grows like a weed. Tom Varga hopes that legalisation does happen one day with a policy that supports big business and controls quality. You need guys that can produce large volumes of cannabis at scale at a competitive price. At the moment, the Greens policy maybe neglects some of that whether it's cows, capsicums or cannabis. What we ingest and what we inhale, we have an expectation for patients and for consumers, it meets a minimum standard. The Greens policy is divisive. Some people aren't expecting it to get up and even this company says that they don't expect marijuana to be legalised for recreational use between three to 10 years. Other people say decades. National health surveys show that more Australians than ever want this drug legalised, with those in favour now outweighing the naysayers. I think if we get the regulation right, then having adult use makes sense. Obviously, this is an industry with high hopes for expansion.